Hello and welcome back to you. This is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this project, we are going to create a CMC's project by using the CMC's DSP library which we have created in the previous tutorial. This is the CMC's DSP library which we have created in our previous tutorial. If you didn't know, please watch our previous tutorial. Okay, so the first click on the project and into the new project and then type here your, pro your processor name TM4 C123 and it was a BE okay it was a BE M 6 p.m. okay select the stellar recent circuit and the give the project name we are going to calculate the mean and the standard deviation of the project give here the mean underscore SD underscore CM shis okay and then select the empty project and go to into the advanced setting and select the executable project output types in the previous tutorial we have selected the static library because of we were creating a static library but this time we are creating a executable type of the project okay then click on the finish okay this is the main distribution and then the right click and then add the files and the files we are going to add here there is a CMCs and DSP library and then examples. This is the class mark examples. Okay, then select the all C type files and there are only one C files. Then click on the OK and then copy this file to the project. You can see the file has been copied here. This is the file. Fine and then right click here and then go to the properties and then verify the processor option everything is fine into the optimization select the second level of the optimization and then include file include the cmc's directory okay this is the cmc's include file and then click on the ok and into the advanced option in the language option allow the gcc extension and then into the predefined symbol please select those two predefined symbol which we have selected into the previous tutorial so the copy it and then paste here and then another one copy this one and then paste here and into the diagnostic option please deselect this one into the runtime model select this as a on and into the advanced optimization leave as it is and leave everything as it is select the assembler option then use unified language and then select on the arm linker into the basic option and then here select the heap size as the 512 okay into the file search path select the library file okay and those library file into the documents and the cc32 and into the dsp debug and this one is the dot lib file okay and then click on the ok and then click on the ok now you can build your project just click on here and then build our project you okay, see everything is fine now you can see it is built successfully it is built successfully and uh, there is no error here and we can see it example file this is our example file here there is a reference it is a test marks of the students and uh, then we are uh, then we are calculating uh, then what we are calculating here then we are first calculating the multiplication then finding the maximum value and then the minimum value and then we are calculating the mean of the student marks and then finally we are calculating the standard deviation of the students and then finally we are calculating the variance and uh, you can read this file description here okay and you can understand very easily it is not very difficult to understand just it is a very simple okay we are using these functions in this project this is our mat initialization our matrix multiplications our max finding our minimum finding and the our mean findings and this is the arm standard deviation and then arm variance this is f means the floating point it's not mean the finding okay and uh, thank you so much for watching in the next tutorial we will be building this project into the our taiwa c series hardware and uh, thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the next tutorial